For correct startup procedure, make sure the embroidery unit is attached to the machine, but leave the machine turned off. Boot up your computer, but do not open the H-Class 600E program yet. Connect the USB cable between your computer and the machine. Raise the needle to its highest position by turning the hand wheel counterclockwise. Then, turn the machine on. Double-click on the H-Class 600E icon to open the program. Now you can select a design and attach the hoop to embroider. More about this later in the program. Your machine comes with two embroidery hoops. Each hoop consists of two parts, an outer hoop and an inner hoop. To use the hoops correctly, make sure the outer hoop has the mounting bracket to the left with the hoop adjusting screw at the bottom. The inner hoop notch markings must appear on the side facing you. Now loosen the hoop adjusting screw on the outer frame and remove the inner frame. Place the outer frame onto a flat surface. Place the stabilizer and fabric on top of the outer frame, then place the inner frame on top. Fit the two frames together by pressing down on the inner frame. Tighten the hoop adjusting screw and carefully pull the fabric edges to remove slack. Once the fabric is properly positioned in the embroidery frame with no slack, tighten the hoop adjusting screw securely with one or two turns. Raise the presser foot lifter. Push the embroidery foot lever up with your finger and pass the embroidery hoop under it. Slide the hoop connector into the hoop attachment on the embroidery arm until it clicks into place. To remove the hoop from the embroidery arm, press the hoop release lever, raise the presser foot and needle, and then slide the hoop toward you. To open a design from the design library, in the main menu, go to Create, click on Design Library. Double click on a design and it will then appear on screen in a gray box. Right click with the cursor outside the frame and a pop-up menu will appear. Left click on Apply. The design will fill with stitches and is now ready to embroider. To send a design to the machine for embroidery, go to File, Transmit to H-Class Machine. Put the presser foot lifter down. Click on Send Design. This particular design has three colors, so the machine LCD panel will display that color one of three colors is ready to embroider. Press the Start Stop button to begin sewing the first color. To pause and trim the thread tail, press the start stop button, trim the thread, then press the start stop button again to resume sewing. The machine will stop automatically when the first color is completed. To see the next color, click on the forward arrow. The machine LCD panel will now display that color two of three colors is ready to embroider. Change the thread color, then press the start button on the front of the machine to begin stitching color two. Continue this process for all colors. When the design is completely done, the machine LCD display will show ED, which means end design. For more information, go to the main menu. Click on Help, then scroll down to open the manual in the drop-down menu. Here you will find a detailed software manual. To view the designs on your computer, go to File, Design Browser. Then click on the folder or drive where your designs are located. You can preview the designs saved in any of the formats that the H-Class 600E software uses. Click on a design and you'll be able to preview it, see the color blocks and size of the design, as well as the stitch count. Then click on Open to select it for embroidery.
To thread your machine for regular sewing, it is common to use an all-purpose thread in the needle and the bobbin. However, for embroidery, it is most common to use a rayon or polyester thread in the needle. For the bobbin, it is best to use a lighter weight thread such as bobbin fill. By using a lightweight thread in the bobbin, your embroidery designs will be less dense on the back than if standard weight thread is used. Remove the bobbin cover plate by pushing the release button to the right while pushing down on the bottom left corner of the plate. Then remove the cover. Your machine comes with a class 15J bobbin. It is recommended that you use only class 15J bobbins in your machine. To wind the bobbin, the machine can either be set up in standard sewing mode or with the embroidery unit attached. Place the thread spool onto the spool pin and secure it with the appropriately sized spool cap. Pull the thread out from the spool and place it through these thread guides. First in front of this guide, then into this guide, and then around the bobbin winding tension disc. Pull the end of the thread through the hole in the bobbin. Place the bobbin onto the bobbin winder as far down as it can go, with the end of the thread coming from the top of the bobbin. Hold on to the end of the thread, then push the bobbin winder lever against the bobbin until it clicks and the bobbin begins to rotate. If you wish, you can push the bobbin winder back to stop and trim the thread tail, then push it against the bobbin again to resume filling. When the bobbin is full, the bobbin winder lever will move back and the winding will stop automatically. Remove the bobbin and cut the thread. To insert the bobbin, raise the needle to its highest position by turning the hand wheel counterclockwise. Place the bobbin into the bobbin case, then pull the thread to check that the bobbin turns counterclockwise. Pull the thread first into this groove and then to the left. With a finger held gently on top of the bobbin, pull the thread until it slips into this next slot. Now pull the thread along the groove on the needle plate until it is snipped with the thread cutter on the top left of the needle plate. Replace the bobbin cover. To replace bobbins during the embroidery process, raise the presser foot lifter, remove the hoop from the machine and trim the thread but do not remove the fabric from the hoop. Replace the bobbin. Reattach the hoop. Lower the presser foot, then continue. To thread the upper part of the machine, raise the presser foot lifter. Turn the hand wheel counterclockwise until the needle is in its highest position. Place the thread spool onto the spool pin and secure it with the appropriately sized spool cap. Bring the thread in front of this guide. Pull it into the guide at the top of the machine. Continue bringing the thread straight down the groove at the front of the machine and then into the guide located just above the needle. Your machine features a built-in needle threader to help you thread the needle quickly and effortlessly. Here's how it works. Hold the thread tail in your left hand and guide it into the twin thread guide on the threading mechanism. Then bring it up and over the thread holder at the side of the machine. Pull the thread tail to trim the excess thread. Now press down on the threading lever located here at the side of the machine. Release the lever and your needle will be threaded automatically. When doing machine embroidery, it is recommended that you use Inspira embroidery needles. These needles are designed to last for many hours of embroidering and will also result in better quality embroidery. These are available from your authorized Husqvarna Viking dealer. Multiple hoop embroidery is a special feature in the H-Class 600E software that will allow you to embroider a design layout that is larger than a single embroidery hoop. The multiple hoop feature splits the design elements in up to four different parts and then sews them precisely matching one section to the other. 
The multiple hoop feature uses a system where three alignment points are input onto cross lines that have been marked onto the fabric. When these points are input, they inform the machine exactly how the fabric is positioned into the hoop, telling the machine where to sew the design in relation to the cross lines. To show how this works, we will create this design layout. In the H-Class 600E software, select Tools from the horizontal toolbar. Select Hoop, and then select Multiple. A single hoop appears on screen marked with a number 1 in the upper left corner. To demonstrate multiple hooping, we will use a heart design from the H-Class design library and add text. To create the heart, select the heart design. This design fits into a single hooping. To resize for the larger layout, go to the main menu and click on Design. Then click on Change Size, then select Percent. Our design was increased to 149%. We must also rotate the design to the right by 90 degrees. The design is now too large for a single hoop, so it flows into a two-hoop layout area. To continue building our entire design, text is added. Go to Create, select Hyperfont, then type the text and select the desired font. Select the stitch type you want, then click Finish. When the entire text layout is added, the overall design flows into a four-hoop area. Now, prepare your fabric for embroidery. It is extremely important when doing multiple hoop embroidery to have the fabric stable so that the cross lines will not shift and distort during hooping. You can use either a fusible stabilizer or a stabilizer with temporary adhesive spray, whichever is appropriate for the type of fabric you are using. With a very fine tip fabric marking tool and ruler, draw a line horizontally across the center of the fabric. Draw a vertical line down the center of the fabric. In order for multiple hoop to work properly, the vertical and horizontal lines must be at precise right angles to one another. These cross lines will be used as references for hooping the fabric. The cross lines represent the center of the overall design area. There are two types of markings on the inner hoop. One type of marking, symbolized by long straight lines, defines the center of the hoop both vertically and horizontally. For multiple hooping, the second type of marking, symbolized by short lines that are near the hoop corners, defines the sewing area. These marks are referred to as guidelines. Guidelines are to be set on the horizontal and vertical cross lines on the fabric. The first section to be embroidered is hoop number one, also called data one. Notice the position of the cross lines for this section on the computer screen. Set the fabric and stabilizer into the hoop, aligning cross lines of data one within the guideline markings on the hoop. Attach the hooped fabric to the embroidery arm of the machine. Now you are ready to send the design data to the machine. The design data is sent to the machine for sewing one section at a time. To send the first section, click on Transmit to H-Class Machine. The gray area, hoop area number one, is the first embroidery data that is sent to the machine for stitching. The screen now prompts you to input the first of three alignment points. These points will inform the machine exactly where the cross lines are positioned in the hoop. It is important that the points are accurately input on the cross lines. 
The machine display shows MH for multiple hoop and the cross lines for data 1 with input point A blinking. Use the shift buttons on the machine to move the hoop until the needle comes to the cross line and push the OK button. Once point A is entered, your computer screen and machine display will prompt you to enter in points B and C. Follow the same procedure for inputting alignment points B and C. When all three points are input, Click on Send Design in the Machine Navigator dialog box to send the design portion of Data 1 to the machine. Embroider the design section. After all colors of the design from Hoop 1 have been embroidered, the screen will prompt you to enter the information for Data Area 2. Rehoop the fabric for Data 2 the machine display will show the cross line positions in the hoop for data 2 and the input point A blinking. Input the A, B, and C points. Send the Data 2 design to the machine. Embroider the Data 2 design. Follow the same procedure for Data 3 and Data 4.